Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Holder, iPhone TV, in association with Macklin's Gym Mobile. I'm in Belfast at the Titanic Exhibition Centre today. With me, I've got Philip Sutcliffe. Firstly, congratulations on a good win, mate. Thanks, James. I really appreciate it. It was one hell of a fight. What a fight that was. Credit to yourself and Chris Jenkins. I mean, real, real credit good fight. Credit to you. Chris Jenkins is a tough man. <laughs> I really enjoyed that, and I took a lot from the fight. Learned a lot. Like, and I must take a lot back to the gym from that fight, because do you know what I thought? I thought he was a little bit softer than, 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 than he was, but he was tough. He's a tough lad. You caught him in the first round with a peach of a shot. Really no, well, it, was a, it was actually three shots. It was a jab, right hand jab. And the, jab the last one done the job, and I was saying to myself, is it over? I was saying to myself, well, step back and relax and maybe go around the two where we well, should have just piled the pressure on and got the night over and came away without bumps and lumps. But look, it is what it is, and it, was, it really took a lot from that 10 round fight with Chris. Mm. Towards the back end of the fight, you looked a little bit fatigued at times. Do you think Do you think that's to do with not doing the weight as you would like, or what was the issue with that? Do you know what, James? It wasn't there. I, I wasn't really sparring the, 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 the rounds I needed. I got mm. credit, uh, credit to Tommy Coyle. He flew over on, on, on a Wednesday and gave me 10 rounds off the cuff. And that was like that fight. It was like a. You know, Tommy Coyle, never an easy night. But, like, I really enjoyed it and I learned a lot from Tommy where I should have took into that. But normally, after five, I'm normally picking her up where that, that fight kind of slowed down a small bit and I was like, what's wrong? Like, what's up? I was saying to myself, nah, shake her off, shake her off. But fair play to Chris, he just kept coming and coming and coming. I spoke to Chris and his team after. Chris is of the opinion that he felt in his hometown, he would have been awarded the fight tonight. He would, it would have been a lot closer on the score than, than what it was. You know, what, what are your thoughts on it? Look, I won the first four rounds. First round was a 10-8 round. Chris took the fifth, the sixth, the seventh. Maybe a close six, sixth round. I definitely won the eighth. He won the, oh, sorry, definitely won the ninth. He won the tenth, I'd say, but one of the one of the middle rounds was even, but I definitely won a boy around and a half, like because there's no way like the ten eight round, the fourth round, and four rounds after that, and then a couple of rounds short and that. Fair play to him though. If he, if he thinks he won like that, it's it's no it's no harm, you know. But it was a lot closer than the, than, than the score. I give it around and a half, but I really enjoyed the fight. You had it a round and a half like yeah. I, said, I don't think anyone would have moaned around each way but to have it sort of four rounds it, it probably didn't do the fight justice to be fair oh no, like fourth round was more in the 10-8 you can't argue with a 10-8 round no, that's right. the next three rounds and the fifth round he started to pick up but still I was still there through all the fight maybe maybe one or two rounds was slowed down but there was, there was never any sign of of in trouble or I've fallen, fallen out of late in my shorts, you know, that way, like, I was always there, you know, mm -hmm. but he is a tough lad, and I'm, I'm glad to come away with the 10 rounds with Chris. I'm very glad, very happy for it. Uh, thank you to my team for getting me that fight. I really appreciate it. Credit to Chris as well. He hasn't been the most active, and it's not for his own fault. He, want, he will literally fight anyone in the division. He will take he's like, any fight. He's like, he's like myself. I haven't had many of them fights, you know, and I understand his pain, mm -hmm. and I... Like he did get paid well, because I, oh, I know, you know that he got paid well to come here, but uh, he wouldn't have came otherwise, you know, and all in all, he came and he fought, he lost, take the loss, he did lose by a round and a half, it wasn't like, I'd be the, the, the worst critic about myself, if I lose a fight, I lose a fight, but definitely didn't lose that fight, like, if you watch it again, it was a war, cracking fight, but I definitely won by a round and a half. Would you give Chris a chance again to get his pride back, or is it a case of you're moving forward now? T t tell him I'm moving forward. Tell him I give him a few spars in the gym. No, no. Look, sure. Look, if something came the way again, and it was bigger, bigger and better, it would have to be down the line with something really big on the line. Mm. And do you know what? 
Chris not being big headed or that, but it wouldn't go that long. But I wouldn't give you the chance you got tonight. Fair play to What do you want to do now then? Where, when coming to this seeing you back in action, and what sort of level of opponent will you be looking at after, after a big win like this? Do you know what? We don't know what's going to happen now. Tyrone, Tyrone called me out on, in, on the way in. The boat MGM boys, we might fight for the Celtic and Irish title if they can get it. We just have to wait and see. If not, we'll have to look on bigger and better things because look after that fight, I want bigger fights and we we'll see what happens, you know. Good win for Tyrone McKenna tonight, as you mentioned against Sean Cree. Good set up potential clash between you both. Is, is, is that got legs or do you think it, it, you'll have to look at... No, I credit, we credit, credit again to Tyrone for tonight. Sean is one tough lad. We know the last few days has been hard on making weight, but look, I didn't think I didn't think um, I didn't think he'd have, Tyrone would have had it that easy. But fair play to Tyrone, he got his boxing right, and got all his tactics right, and just Sean Cray couldn't couldn't keep him at bay, and Tyrone outboxed him, and that's that's happened sometimes. You know that way, like with people like that. But Sean Cray is only learning. Sean Cray is only beginning, and he'll come again, definitely come again. Fair play to Tyrone for tonight. He, very, he boxed very well. I boxed maybe the first three rounds of Sunday. I warmed up for my own fight, so that was more important. So, fair play to them. Do you think, because you can't fight for the British, do you think you'll sort of look at the European level straight away? Do you know what? I leave that up to my team. And we, I was promised big things with MGM, and that's why I signed. And I really believe that they're going to come through with me, you know, like, otherwise I wouldn't have signed. And mm -hmm. I, I know from the people that I'm working with that they're not bullshit. You know that way it's it's going to happen. It, it's there for me. Like I, every day is is a new thing for me. Like when I'm walking on the gym, it's a new opponent every day. And when they ring me and say, "Look, well, you have a you get your three fights before Christmas, and there's a ten round fight off the cuff for Chris Jenkins, a tough tough man and a big name in England that hasn't had the potential of all the fights." Like myself, like the two of us were left idle. But Chris Jenkins, I don't know. Maybe is there something to do with the British level? I don't know now. I will know and fight him. It's the same in Ireland with me. Like people have been dodging me. But I don't get annoyed at that. I just look for bigger and better things, and hopefully the, the team, the MGM team, will, will pull off some big, big stops. You know, for being a big puncher. No doubt the problems that come with that with your hands and stuff. How are your hands after tonight? Do you know what? Just my thumbs are a little bit sore, but my hands are great. My hands are great. And I haven't had any problems with them lately. And, all, <laughs> and from the, the chronic problems I've had with them in the past, like, they're not even after that war, like, they're not even sore. So, like, bring her on, you know, bring her on. Listen, congratulations on a great win. Thanks, James. Good fight, really entertaining for the crowd. I said, um, I think the only thing to let it down was the scorecard being a bit wide, but it is what it is. You're there's not in no, charge no, of that. There's nothing I can do about it. I just in the ring, right you know that way. Like, and That's right. look, Chris, we give it a round and a half, and we'll have a point later. Fair play to you, good man. Top man. Thanks, for your time Thanks James. Talk. Thanks very Cheers much. Soon, mate.